right, so obviously uh, two guys that knew the Briscoes very well is Matt and Nick Jackson, the Bucks, and um, you were saying that the Briscoes might be your best opponents ever. Yeah, definitely up there. Uh, I think for sure that they – were the uh, we we wrestled them the most of our career. I would I would have to ask someone who's great at stats <laughs> to figure Alex. out. Yeah, he would probably actually <laughs> know. Would know. Yeah, yeah we would. should ask him. But I'm pretty sure they were the number one team. And my God, we we went to war with them so many times, I, so many times. We've started wrestling them. What was it? I think I, I looked it up the other day. It was '09 in Dayton, Ohio. I remember they announced it was like a big deal. It was like, oh my gosh, the brother teams are finally going to wrestle. Yeah. You know, and we were excited, but we were kind of nervous because. We'd been watching tapes of them from way back when for so long. We were, like, so intimidated. You know? I was only, like, 18, too, at the time, too. <laughs> yeah, Nick was so, a child. I was right. doing some addition and subtraction in my head, so yeah. that would be that, that Jay and Mark were probably 25 and 24 or something like that. Yeah, yeah probably that around that. Right. Yeah. And such similarities between the two. You guys, we talked about it last week with two brothers right. mm-hmm. teaming, and one's a little bit younger, but not too much. But mm. Right. A different... Uh, gimmick. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, first season, like just complete lunatics. Oh. We were so intimidated. Terrif- <laughs> terrifying. Like, even to the last time we wrestled them, uh, which we have a story about that too. But like from the first time in Dayton in '09 mm. to the last time in Final Battle '18, right, 2018, right. it was like any time that music would hit and they would walk down and the crowd's chanting, man up. Like we would look at each other like, are we about to get into a real fight? <laughs> and and like, hours prior, we were with him in the back laughing and calling the match, having a great time. But as soon as the, the red light was on, especially Jay, Jay would have yeah. this look in his eye like he's gonna kill us. Mm. And, and so Nick and I would be in the ring like going, they know this is a work, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we would wrestle and, and obviously they would take care of us, but man, they brought it. Um, but they had that reputation too. Yeah. Like they were the high standard of ROH tag team wrestling. So yeah, the gold standard. The golden standard. So when we first got there, we were like, yeah. well, we, that's who we want to be. And they're always the guys that we, we tried to be and be as good as them. So we were always intimidated. And at any time we were like feeling lazy or tired or whatever, it, it like, oh, you got the Briscoe snipe. Like, oh, here we go. Better get some coffee in us. You know? Yeah, that, that reminds me of a tour we did in Australia where we just thought, because it was for just some random indie. It was like a five-day loop or something. So we were like, okay, this should be easy money. And then we find out we're working the brisket every night. We're like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, we thought we were going on vacation. We're, yeah. we're, we're going to have yeah. to work so hard. Yeah. And it, it, it felt good, though, after a match. Like, okay, they're the best. That's why you know, they, they always bring it. So Do you like, feel they're the, one of the best tag teams all the sure. time? Yeah. For sure. Like, as far as modern, especially modern tag teams. like they're. they're I always say that it's a shame that the world didn't get to see it, mm. but we did firsthand, mm-hmm. and I, I could say it easily that they are definitely one of the best tag teams of all time. But nationwide, uh, sadly, they didn't really get to never were get to be on national TV, right? right? And we fought for it. Like I, in, so in twenty eighteen final battle, we knew that AEW was going to be a thing. Uh, I don't know if we quite knew like the name of it, all that stuff, but I remember we told them in the back right before we went out. We said, "Hey, we got to let you guys on a little secret." Uh, while while everybody's doing their entrances. And uh, we said, we got this project coming up, and I think this is our last match with you guys for a while. Hopefully not forever, but... And we just said, we just want to say thanks for everything. You guys have done so so much for us here at ROH. And we had a moment. Yeah, we all shared a moment. We all said a prayer right before. We all had tears in our eyes, Mm -hmm. and we realized that was it. It was sad. Like, thinking about it now, it's like, damn, it was the last match. It was the last match, right? Yeah. That's what breaks my heart. And soon after AEW got announced, like, immediately we said, we got to get the Briscoes. It was always the Lucha Brothers, the Briscoes, the Young Bucks. We're like, we need the three greatest brother tag teams. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? And, of course, the Hardys. Like, we're like, (laughs) if we can get them, we got them all, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we sadly, obviously, didn't work out. We couldn't get them here. We'll talk about Jay a little bit behind the scenes. Like you mentioned how intense he was in the ring. But one of the guys that, and I only met him briefly a few times, but one of those few guys, a lot like Brody, which the last guy that passed away in our company, that everyone has a good word to say. You know, everyone liked him. Just a kind dude. You know, like anytime we'd see him, it was always family talk family first it was always family mm. hey how are the kids how's this how's that and then and then we'll get to the wrestling thing yeah yeah, yeah. he was just a family man you know mm. he's, he's a, he was some guy like like a family guy 
who didn't belong in the wrestling business. Almost, like Nick and I would always say, like, what do these guys do? They're just chicken farmers. <laughs> like they don't yeah, seem like they, wrestlers. But to they me. would say the same thing about us. <laughs> well, same thing about you guys, right? It's true. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And maybe we had that in common. You know. It, it would be so funny. Uh, you know how our style is wrestling wise, and their style is so much different. So sometimes we would clash with Jay uh, mm -hmm. while we would call matches. Or just for some of your comedy elements or lighter. It's yeah. So frustrating. He'd be like, <laughs> that just looks so fake, man. I don't want to do that. <laughs> or like, like when. And this is like you're probably talking about the days like the the height of the Bullet Club. Yeah, this was later on. We just wanted to walk around the ring for five minutes and too sweet everybody. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to sell? Why you guys are all there too sweet everybody? You, know, you get really upset about that. There was one spot yeah. in particular though yeah. that you have a funny story about. Oh yeah, so they do the Doomsday Device as we know. We actually did that last week on right, TV as a today, tribute. Yeah. As a tribute. Uh, so one day I came up with this idea. I'm like, what if? When you give me the clothesline, I actually do a, a backflip. I land on my feet and I counter it, and we do a super kick party out of it. I think the police will go nuts. And they were kind of hesitant, especially Jay's like, well, it is our finish. <laughs> I go, I know, dude, but trust me on this. Yeah. So I do it. I stick the landing. The place goes crazy, and I think we ride it right into the finish. And it works so great. So then next time we're booked together, Briscoe's like, hey, uh, why don't we do that again? <laughs> Jay's like, well, well, you did it last time. I'm like, I know, man, but what did I say? I got so we do it again, same thing. And I'm like, we go to a new town. I'm like, hey, man. And like, we do this like six, seven, eight times. Finally, one day, I think we're in like the UK. It's like, it's maybe we've done it 11 times. I go, hey, man, let's do that thing again. He goes, okay, man, I got to stop you right there. He goes, he goes, as a character, what I, this is we've done this a, a dozen times. Why am I still going for my finish if I know you're just going to land on your feet? <laughs> and he's right. You know, it's like, yeah, you're probably right, man. It's a great idea, though. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as you said it, I was like, I've never seen that before. Yeah. It's amazing. It yeah. worked really well, but he had a point. He was like, yeah, by the 12th time, you probably shouldn't be going for this move on, on right. this particular guy. But, but there was, yeah. th that just wasn't the one thing that we would yeah. clash on. It was just certain yeah. things that made things look more realistic. And he made everything look realistic. Mm. And sometimes we're too flashy. <laughs> so of course. It kind of frustrated him at times. Like he came up with that idea right. where we had a match also, it was, it was a different final battle, right? In Hammerstein, where they're on their knees and we just super right, kick them. Right. He's like, I want you to do it like you're killing me with a gun. Like you're just yeah. shooting me mm. a million times with a gun. And we're like, okay. So like execution size, like, yeah. And I'll just eat him. We're like, Okay, yeah, like that's how that intense crazy. he was. Right, and right. when we're doing it, we're in the ring. We're not even supposed to do that many. He's right. going, he's more. like, give me more, yeah. more. He's just yeah. one of those intense guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. So we're right. like, okay, so we just kept doing them. And, that you know, was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Was just an intense dude in, in the ring, but in the back, so just soft spoken. Oh, yeah. uh, very serious, very meticulous about his wrestling, too. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's another guy who put more thought into mm. what he was going to do in the ring. How do you mean? Just, just everything, like. He would sit there and just think, and we would just watch him like, what's he thinking about? Right. And just like Nick said, the it realism. Was, it would be simple things. Like, simple hey, things. Can, I, can we double shoot you and, and give you a double clothesline? He would sit there for five minutes and think about it. Yeah. Mm, so gotcha. Like and yeah. he would like to quarterback the spots. Like he would draw like, like as if it was a football field. He was like, here's the ring. This oh. is where I'll be standing. <laughs> and then you come here this way and duck this way and right. do this. Like very and meticulous. Then he would come back yeah. after that five minutes and clean up the spot that we had pitched and uh, make it more realistic he, to what he That's put, interesting. He put a lot of thought into it, this. Yeah. A lot of thought. That people you, don't realize. Did you guys ever work with him in a singles capacity, either one of you? I don't think we have. <laughs> the one time uh, Delirious Hunter booked us in a singles match, we, we were like, dude, why are we doing singles matches? It was going to be like Nick versus Mark and me versus Jay. We're like, there's more money. Just do the tag again. And he's like, you're right. <laughs> so like, we just didn't want to do it. But, uh, yeah, we never did singles. I don't think we ever did. Yeah. We've seen a million Jay you know, singles matches, right. though, obviously. Yeah. You guys went around the world with them? Did You, yeah. you mentioned uh, England and where else did you go? We wrestled them in Japan for New Japan. Oh, wow. Uh, England, Australia, Japan, obviously America. Uh, I'm sure in Canada. Might, did yeah. we do anything in yeah, Toronto Canada, with them probably? Probably, yeah. yeah. yeah you name it. Countries, yeah. Did think, they get over fairly good in Japan? I'm surprised they didn't work there more. I think like, it takes time in Japan, as you know. Right. Um, but once they got to see him a couple of times, I think there was a little of that Brody, like wild man, loose cannon element. Yeah, 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 totally. So when they came out, people knew like, whoa, these guys look crazy. Mm -hmm. So they were getting definitely I think getting they were starting them. to get over. Yeah, and they just didn't tour enough for New Japan. They didn't want to be gone because we would ask them, hey, you guys should come on tour and do. Right. And they just they were so serious about being home with their kids. God, yeah, yeah. They yeah. just didn't want to do it, and I totally got it. I was like, I understand. We got to do a but, title versus title match with them. At, remember that in Japan? That's right. They that's were right. the heavyweight champs. And we we might have did the, the Doomsday uh, spot there. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> it, it's amazing when you when you hear those types of stories because it's hey. like, a, hey, what's going on, hey, man? Go. Hey, we're here. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Uh, well, good luck recording this. All right. <laughs> I'll come see you when we're done. 
a cameo by Tony Khan, who who, who went out of his way, yeah, always fi- uh, fighting for the Briscoes, and finally Mark is on our show tonight, yep. which is great. So all all kudos to Tony Thank for God, that. Man. You I'm know, very happy with yeah. With um, here. When when you're talking about Japan, Briscoes in Japan, what were they? What did they think of the country? You go eat, eat the food, and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was probably one of those things. It was probably a learning lesson for them they, they'd gone before i think years prior yeah, for noah yeah. for noah like yeah, they, they they've known out. about it so i don't know what it was like when they first they never really told me stories yeah, about it they love their beer though so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so for sure they they love that they but. like going out with sponsors i'm sure after oh for sure <laughs> speaking of beer like we had so many nights after roh where we'd be 10 guys to a room back in the day that's just right. how it was like me and nick mark and jay i don't know steen generic or probably was probably in there brian danielson <laughs> tyler black we'd all share rooms and Jeez, and, and so many times the bristles when they had one too many they would just get these crazy fist fights. That's right. Oh wow! Yeah. Insane fights where we're like, <laughs> we need to break this up, and everybody, and like one, I think it might have been like a Brian or a Nigel type. Where they were like, no, no, this is just what they do, and we're like, this is really bad. <laughs> like things in the hotel room are breaking. It, know, it's like, so funny because for a lot of brothers, like you hear those types or yeah. tag team partners, you know, but you guys never have done that. But <laughs> I remember hearing about the Briscoes even before I knew them. Oh yeah, they get in fights all the time. They're yeah, crazy, and you think, oh, they're going to be crazy. Yeah. And then the first time I met them was on my cruise. Oh. Oh, that's right. Which is really funny because they wrestled each other. Yeah. Okay. We were in that first Ring of Honor, a Sea of Honor tournament that's that right. we did, and I had totally forgotten. And I watched the promo that they did for it. It was really good. Oh, it's like, gosh. Briscoes Dude. on a boat, middle of the ocean, <laughs> no way off. You sure you want us on? And I'm like, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> not after this. Yeah, like very, like you said, very intense. It, it, the promos were so good because they were so real. Yeah. Uh, when they did those ones on the chicken farm, it was just them talking oh, and just so being a little watch. with the volume turned up. Yeah. That's why they were so so good because they're authentic. Mm-hmm. Like Jay knew how to talk. Like nobody That's knows. Good promo, man. Unbelievable yeah. promo. So scary when he would talk too. Some of those backstage ones, you know how right after you wrestled from uh, in Japan, they yeah, 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 interviews with the guys. Yeah, they want comments. His were so intense, <laughs> and you could cuss there, so right, he would curse like crazy. Yeah, it'd be so scary to watch. I'd be ten feet away, and I'd be like, "Oh my god, yeah. thank God I'm not wrestling." <laughs> One thing good about, like, about Jay, we were talking about how he's as a person, the loyalty. Like, mm. I have a funny story that Mark likes to share about uh, about how loyal Jay was to the point where it would actually affect their business. Um, so every every contract season, uh, Mark would go to, up to Jay and have a pep talk and say, "Let me handle the talking, okay?" <laughs> and Jay would go, "Okay, yeah, because last year you screwed it up." Jay, okay, fine. They're very loyal to Ring so, of Honor. So they very would loyal. they would get into these meetings or these phone calls or whatever, and and before the conversation would even start. Jay would go, okay, before we even start this conversation, I just want to let you guys know, we ain't going anywhere. And Mark would go, no, Jay, you just blew the whole thing. No, not again. It's it's like every year, every time it would be, Mark would be like, Jay, this year, do not say it. And then Jay, he couldn't help himself. He just wanted the bosses to know, hey, I'm loyal. I'm here. I'm a day one guy to the point where it affected his money. And it would frustrate Mark to no end. That's how loyal the person he was. Yeah. We told that story story to so many people last week and we were just laughing our asses. <laughs> we, we shared it with yeah. mark we were texting mark and he's he's like yeah that's legit that's jay you know <laughs> last couple of things one thing that you mentioned earlier but very faith based yes. these these two guys oh, yeah. which you wouldn't expect either yeah. right right yeah and to this day like mark's like talking to us and he's almost consoling us and we're mm. going this is your brother yeah. man and he's because he has so much faith yeah yeah, yeah and, right, right. and it really just blows such, my mind such a good family like uh, the wife, Ashley, she was talking about how, let, come on, guys, let's not focus all on Jay. There's another family. That I saw that. That's what? insane. That's, that's crazy. talking about the other driver that yep. crossed the road yep. and, and hit and killed yeah. Jay. It shows you what kind of a family so they are. She's like, let's yeah. donate for them, too. I'm like, oh, my God. When I, when I read that, her. dude, yeah, that was unbelievable what to see that. Her, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's just a level of person that like I don't think any of us realize that that family is. Like, right. They're yeah. so kind, so sweet, and their faith is. I don't know. Like Mark said to us, I don't know what I would do without my faith. Right, right now of in course. This situation. Because you know? if you are, you know, if you are a believer, then mm-hmm. basically Jay is in right. heaven. Yep. Right. So that's cool. Right. Yep. If you're not a believer, you're just like can't believe what happened, and, and this is terrible, and it is terrible. But for 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 him, if that's the final goal, then he actually that's not too bad, right? That's right. A little peace of mind for the family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's and for right. all of us too. I just think about his kids too. Yeah, yeah. That, was that was the, the worst part. Oh my part gosh. Like yeah. we, as as a father, you know, you oh, just yeah. think about that. And it just shows you how much that city loved them. With gosh, the, they shut the yeah. whole school district down. Right? I saw that. I was like, wow. 
Yeah. Realize, we'd heard yeah. stories, but then we that happened. We're like, oh, man. Well, and thankfully, the kids are getting better yep. right now. I mean, obviously, it's a long road, and it's not right. good, but it's not as bleak as it was last week. So, that's right. That's right. You know, that's one good thing, mm -hmm. if nothing else. So, last final thoughts on Jay Briscoe, Matt? I don't know if I'll ever need to meet another person quite like him. Yeah. He, uh, he changed my life in more ways than he'll ever realize. Yeah. And, and I, I think we're so blessed that Mark's still around, you know, yeah. and to remind us of Jay. Because, I mean, they... Their brothers, they look the same. They, oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, their mannerisms are so yeah. similar. Jay was more handsome though. <laughs> you see well, he's him, got like, the teeth. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, I'm really gonna miss him. This one hit us. I was I harder than anybody. The day think, after yeah. TV, for whatever reason, I tried to work out and I was in my sauna and I was sobbing. Mm. And I've never sobbed like this before in my life. And it was like a half hour, just me just bawling my eyes out. I was mm -hmm. like, Matt, I'm a wreck right now. Yeah, it was tough. What's was... your first experience of having a real close friend pass yeah. away? Yeah. It's a yeah. terrible feeling. Yes, yeah, so he's know? we that's the closest person in the business we've ever had. We have yeah, lost yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, this has really brought us closer to the, a lot of the guys though. We've talked to people we haven't talked to much yeah. in a while and just told them we love them and Yeah. Yeah. There's, that's important. Yeah. It is. It is. You just never know when you're going to. Yeah. It's your last day. So yeah. I, I've been telling everyone that I love that I love them. Yeah. So. I don't want to lose that feeling because it's like right. you, in six months, like I still want to have that. Yeah. We all forget so quickly because yeah. we get tied up in all this crap. It's a legacy you know? that he can live, you know, that, yeah. that he can leave behind. Yeah. That, you know, we have to remember how yeah. quickly it can go. And then that's we right. are a family and yeah. you, you do, we do love each other. So yeah. that's right. I love you guys. I love, love you, buddy. All right. <laughs>